after the chiefs here finally woken up after 183 years have suddenly realized what all the fuss is about not too late but you're next to get your land back the same way you'll have to come there and sit down with you and go through the same process again but it'll be quick fast and furious the real fast and furious not eric holder in america because he's fast and furious went to hell and got blocked up so all that fraud in America is playing out right in front of your eyes with Donald Trump just getting caught selling policies to other countries including Russia they are dividing all the fraud lands with the King's title and the commerce through the United Nations they're using the United Nations now they want to get rid of and hide their tracks they've got rid of a lot of files and that Comey FBI has hidden a lot of files he's caught too He's, he's strong, and now Obama is getting caught. Obama took $230 million for himself personally from stolen off the people of America. People of America have been duped right out, and now they're getting caught and killed by, by Muslims put there deliberately by this side in the Rothschild and the Queen, and what I'm saying the borrowed flag from this side. This flag's going to come and wipe them out. Now, we're going to action this flag for what it's supposed to be for, for the people of the world, the common law people of the world. You're the king's people. You start claiming this. Start claiming what we're saying online. Um, the My Crown King William Trust. Join the My Crown King William Trust as a shareholder. It's cost £25 a share. One off. That's it. No more after that. Your mobile phone will be charged ever after that with what we recover straight to your name and your phone number is only identity we need through tag pay. No other details, just your mobile phone and your details in mobile in tag pay in France. I'm going to France. It was set up in 2012, was functioning. But because the chiefs here weren't ready, it's taken that long to wake up. It's taken five years for them to wake up I've been on Titi Marai in front of them all telling them how to do things and they've just it's cost a lot of time uh, over 20 years to just tell that story and I'm just telling the story for, for Dion, uh, Dion uh, Walker here a uh, good friend of mine from Natukatu in Kaipara I'll just say a, bit, a little bit about that so these titles with the trustees and connection through the crown in New Zealand to the crown in America and the crown in Britain is just about to be dissolved because the Queen is on her last legs at 90 and someone has to abdicate, she has to hand the title to someone else. There's nobody else safe enough to give it to her. She's going to hang on till she drops the But unfortunately we're going to be there in the middle of it to stop that racket of abuse of our claim. And so with the Kaipara uh, all those people on the lands there, it's just like you're a number on this side. You're just a number of their trustees. Nothing, no title of anything, just a beneficiary with no say. Not really much say, because when they make a ruling, that's it. You have to take what you're given. This side is different. You are the shareholder, creditor here, and you have a say on here, straight with text on tag page on suggestions go straight there and you get the answer straight back. And your credit from that side. From this let me get aside to back to this side. That's what we set up with the shares right to the world. So I'm just saying uh, uh, you're no different on your native land in Kaipara because you've heard me say this before that uh, Mohi Manika had a lot of lot of mana in that area but made no difference to him because he was selling the whole country anyway. So you're standing on the land, you're looking after the land, you're not getting paid much for looking after the land, and someone's carting all the money off for themselves, not you. Here this side, you're getting it through here to yourself as looking after the land, you should be expected to get paid for a little fee of 25 pounds only, one off, that's all we need. 
we got 1 billion shares in 250 countries with this flag. Multiply that by 25. That's 25 billion straight off in one country. And we've got 1 billion shares in each of those countries. That's 25 billion. We've got one off a trillion shares here in New Zealand. That's a trillion times 25. 25 trillion pounds just here as the parent of all those other countries with the flag. You get that? That's how it works in this world of commercial native lands that they're only occupied. It's only a lease on this side. To this side, the king owns the land on the document, not this side. The queen is only administrating the land. She's doing a, such a bad job that we're going there on this side to sack her as the trustee of our trust, the Queen Victoria Trust, and I'm going there with myself to take over the trust. And you'll get your money's worth out of it after that. We'll, we'll salvage all of that with this flag and make this flag work for us. After 183 years, we're going to make this flag work for us, that the King gave it to us for, that the natives here, I won't call them Maori, because there was no Maori, right after 1945. That's when the Maori died. That's when they put the Maori titles together and called everybody Maori. Before that, there was no such thing. On the, on the 1840 Treaty of Waitangi documents, it's got Maori on there. They jumped back in time, just like going back in time and saying, we were there, the Maoris were there in 1840, but can't prove it. They had no fact, evidence, to prove that Maori existed in 1835, let alone 1830 because it was only invented at the war period, World War I, or the 1945 period. They sent the Maori to war, they created the Maori land title. When those Maoris came back from the war, their land was sold. And they said, we're going to give you a piece of land, and that's your lot because you signed before you went to war. And Maori says, I don't want that land, that's mine over there. I said, so, sorry, it's been sold. You've got to go over there. No, there's my two over there. No, we dug them out, put them over there. Who told you to do that? You see, that's a Maori perspective on how they treat tikanga badly. They dig all the memorial titles out, like Mohi Manaka on One Tree Hill. They dug all these tukanas out, the Moriori's, and threw them in the flour mill in Helenville, where Helen's where, where Helen Clark lives in Mount Eden, and the flour mill was there, Robertson's flour, flour mill, and crunched them up in bits for fertilizer. That's where they went. And lately, just recently at the airport, walked in the airport, they took 800 skeletons of Mohi Manukau's people again. This is the people over there. Uh, I must say this, the Tainui people and the Ngāti people and the Ngāpui people, that, that you're responsible for that, on the crown side, on this side, you're responsible for that from these chiefs, I've got all the stories here, from Mohi Manukau, you dug all those because that was commercial on your side, they, they don't care, they have no soul, no heart, no nothing, they just say, take it for the airport, so that, because it's in the way of the aeroplane, right? And so they dug them out and put them in containers and says, here's your ancestors. And that's how they got them back. Pukaki Marae, uh, out there in Uihumato. I know the whole area. That they, they, they were responsible for that. They were responsible for that. Uh, I'll, I'll just forget what the, the chief's name there. Uh, uh, but I've got it on record as desecrating the, the, the Manukau, the Moriori Manukau uh, title to get rid of it. They, they haven't gotten rid of it because the British got it. The British got that title. And that's where you go wrong. You're going to have to answer in this court, magistrate court, you're going to have to answer the Titi Marae, Grand Jury, Native Magistrate Court to that discretion. You, you're going to have to say something, otherwise you get a bill on your head. Because you had a contract with the Queen and the Queen has abandoned ship of Admiralty here and gone to Brussels to hide underneath King William III and King William IV in Brussels, the World Court. She's hiding under there. We're going there to rake her out. Right? That's your queen. That's your queen. Because she don't care about this. She hasn't even been on TT, my life. All those years she's been the queen. Not once. So that's what I'm saying about 
uh, us that will be an after this uh, shot. Uh, so thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you.